So the last stage in getting a working electronic die is to generate the random number between one and six that will be the score on the die when we've rolled it. Now you'll notice that in the loop section, there is already a line of code here, which is going to be generating random numbers between one and six until we press the button. Notice that it will keep doing this line of code here until we press this button, because if we're not pressing the button, none of that code will execute. It will simply move back around the loop, run this line of code again, check if we're pressing the button. If we're not pressing the button, it will go back around the loop, run this line of code again, and so on. In other words, it's going to keep running whatever code we put here over and over again until we press the button. And what we want it to do all that time is keep generating random numbers. We're going to take a slight detour at this point to talk about how computers actually generate random numbers. Now, computers can't do things that are truly random because they simply follow the lines of code one after another that they have been programmed to do. So in order to generate random numbers, what computers actually do is generate pseudo random numbers. What that means is numbers that appear to be random, but actually are generated by an algorithm. The maths behind this is reasonably complex, but what it means in practice is that if we started with the same seed value, in other words, the same starting position, and we read numbers one after the other from the random number generator, we would get the same random numbers each time we ran the algorithm. In other words, in our electronic die, we would always roll a one, then a three, then a five, then a four, then a six, etc. The sequence would be the same every time we turned on our die. Now that's not really very useful to us. We don't want a die that is entirely predictable. And therefore what we're doing here is we're introducing an element of randomness from the real world. Whilst we are not pressing the button, the computer is going to generate pseudo random numbers over and over again. And then at the particular moment that we press the button, it will be somewhere through the sequence, but it won't necessarily be in the same place through the sequence every time, because when precisely we press the button will vary each time we generate a new number. This will give us the appearance of being truly random, even though the computer is actually following a fixed algorithm. Now, the command for generating random numbers is actually very straightforward. It's simply random followed by the range of values you want the number to be between. In our case, we want it to be between one and six. But this is going to return a value and we're going to need to store it somewhere. So our command is gonna be something equals random between one and six. See if you can figure out by looking at the start of the program, what we ought to put in front of this equal sign. In other words, which variable we would like to store our random number in. Once you've done that, try uploading the program and see if it works. Hopefully you spotted that that variable is rand number. So now we are going to store a random number between one and six in our variable rand number over and over and over again as we go around the loop until we press the button, at which point we will roll the die and then display that number. Notice Whatever rand number is at the point where we press the button, that is the same value of rand number that's going to be used here and the same value of rand number that's going to be used here. It's not going to change again until after we've run all of this code and we go back around the loop and generate a new random number. So throughout this section of code here, we are using the same random number. That's important because we obviously want to display 
the same number as we beep. Now that we've got this final element to our program, we should be able to upload it and hopefully it should roll the die when we press the button and then display a random number between one and six. Press the button a few times and check that you're getting random sequences. It won't do anything in the beep score section, but that's what we're going to work on next. 